as a gentleman, it's Gaddafi the poet in the building. Um, yeah, I've got my nigga Toast, Master Chef Toast, you know, um, on Twitter. Master Chef Toast, Ooh, Instagram. I'm just gonna, you know, hook up, you know, like I said, I balance both love and, you know, uh, the real stories of, you know, how our mothers have been treated at home and stuff. So, I'm just gonna hold this one a little bit. You know it, man. It's like my title piece. I um, might add the title piece, basically. So, yeah, because, like, yeah. You are my perfect painted picture, beautiful creature. But first, let me thank the above creator for gracing and blessing you with the most awesome body features. Mind of a goddess, walk and talk like an African princess. But I resisted and insisted to commit incest, knowing that somewhere in the world lies a beautiful lioness, tamed to become the most sweetest honey nested and hidden between the mountains of Njesutu, Patu, Makwantu, Bamashai, Mafadi, Chaka, the Homo, the Hana, Wena, Shagin. Uniquely made when a house finally the homemade yellow bones. You see, I silently glanced at your beauty, giving it my all like a soldier on duty. Ironically, ironically, my eyes were glued at a booty, but kept a low profile, avoiding to be called a duchy. Don't get me wrong, yeah, all I'm a Christian, but I think for this one, Gizo Dinga Umuti. Within a blink of an eye, one quiet and she said, Hi, booty, Ubianga Gopi Uto again, a suit in Jingo Tati Muruti. I took a deep breath, accompanied by a deep sigh, before I could say hi. And believe me when I say, I I wanted to lie about who I was. I mean, what the fuss? It's a norm to me. Try to be shy and get bombs with it. But on that day, on that day, I got lost. I got lost in the moment. Tried a few pickup lines to impress. I ended up saying I was a poit and I was gonna write her a sonnet, which is I did. But ah, man, that's work, man. Can I just be a doormat and become my princess? My question became rhetoric as you stared at me with your bedroom eyes, complimented by your yellow shimmering thighs. And I had no choice but to swallow my pride if I really wanted to make you my wife. Because this girl is nothing. Normal, nothing typical. A sense of humor, so supernatural. A dress code, so royal. The color of Alana Matota is pala pala sento mi indo ni amanzi duli do mi. Onge na basket ige ni magedi nonge na komo ya ihi ni ama oy tengi le agaga shabu shabu la agaga u se u se la agaga ihi gobo se ihi le u se kala u smo mundi a do mi do do mi a se makaya. Only if you can give me a chance to take you out, maybe downtown, so to south, and the rest shall be negotiated with the cows blessed by the priest. As in our true vows, because it started as a seed, then it grew. I had a mind blockage and felt like a fool, but because it was you, it felt so good. The suit of your brown skin entices my anxiety to unhold you through the night under the shining moon until the sky turns blue. We often told to get a room by people who have never been in love like we do. And with that said, I'm grateful to God who made me to meet a princess like you because you are my boo for wood. I go by the name of the dad, the poet. Um, just, uh, just doing me, you know. I'm, I'm just one guy who's into words. By words, I mean like I just wanna you know, enlighten people. Like I call myself a pen, a pen which is an acronym P E N, like poet enlightening the nation. So basically, I'm the poet enlightening the nation. So basically, I'm gonna be doing exactly, exactly that which is what I'm saying that I'm gonna do. As a soldier in the art, I keep on writing, so like, that's like my match, so I keep on writing and we're still gonna enlighten you people, we're still gonna enlighten you, know, we're still gonna you know, talk about nice stuff, I mean, here we are, we're celebrating women, we're, uh, Women's Month, it's August baby, so you know, you know how it goes down, we talk about women, why are go out there and respect women, just too much to say man, I've got too much to say when it comes to women, like, uh, keep us out there, you know, all the ways now whoever was thinking about christian love it's okay if you think about romantic love it's still okay you know the fact of the matter is that we do love them and we do, we do really appreciate women and apparently i cannot ignore the fact that you know uh, you know recently women are becoming empowered women are like women are starting to do their own things they're becoming independent as much as there's just a lot of things happening in our country talk about bless us and stuff but at the end of the day we do have our own Bokotos who are who are Boko to fight, you know, if you know what I mean. So basically that's just that. Oh, is it? Yeah. <laughs> Yay. Awesome.
fé.